and welcome to my channel if you are new here please do not forget to subscribe just before you leave now let's get started in today's tutorial I am going to be showing you how you can achieve the reflection which is what you see here and mirror effect right in canvas so this is a very very easy step and a very easy way to achieve the reflection and mirror image effect I've seen lots of people ask about this so I decided, I thought, why not make a tutorial about it? So let's get started. Now I have, I'm starting off the fresh page. I'm trying to create this so you can, you know, see how it works. So let's get started. I am just going to use a gradient background. So I love to use gradient backgrounds when creating my designs, just to give it a bit of the two-toned color effect. So I'm going to wait for this to load up or better still. And we will just use one from my recently used. So I'm just going to use this one. So I'll just use it to, you know, fill up the screen. Using it to fill up the screen. I am going to change the colors. Okay. I want to rotate this again. I'm just trying to, you know, get my preferred background color right so we can start. Okay, now let's start. I am going to go to my uploads and pick a picture I've uploaded. So I'm going to pick up this one. I'm going to crop it. You can also take a picture from the photos, that's the stock images section. So what you are just going to do now is to duplicate this image. So you should also make sure that you have removed the background, either using removing remove background or BG if you are using the free version, or you have done that using right that this is right here. That if you are using the pro version, just click on background remover. That's click effect, and you click background remover, and it removes the background for you now the next thing to do is to duplicate like i said so this is here you just make click duplicate here or if you are using a system just click ctrl d so now this is it now that i have duplicated the image this is the image that i just duplicated you go to flip and you click flip, flip flip vertical so you click flip vertical so it flips vertically then you take down Make sure it is well aligned. This mark, this pink mark helps you with the alignment. What you now want to do is to reduce the transparency. You reduce the transparency and that's basically it. You can as well add a bit of blur. You can just a little bit, not too much. And that is basically it. We have done our own, you know, mirror effect. So basically what you have to do is to duplicate the image. Once you duplicate, you click on flip and flip vertical. Okay, so let me continue and finish up this design. So the next thing I did was to go to, was to search for blur. Now what I am trying to achieve is this, you know, blurry effect at the back, blurry image at the back. So I'm going to choose this one. You can see that there are lots of blur options available. So there are a lot of them, like a whole lot of them. But I'm just going to use this first one. I like to use this one because it allows me, you know, change the um, color to whatever color I want to use. So I'm just going to use white. I like to reduce the transparency. Then position backward. And that is basically it. Okay, so how I got this water um, splash, you know, thing, what I did was just to go to my photos and set for splash. Now, you can also find this on any PNG website. So you just search, you can Google search water splash, you know, chocolate splash, whatever splash. So when you go under the photos, you just search for splash and these are the options available. You can see here there's water splash, paint splash, 
brush stroke and a whole lot of them ice cubes and a whole lot so i just use this one for example this is for milk this is for you know there's so many this is water for milk for paint there are so many options here so i'm just going to use this one so what i did was use this increased it a bit a tiny bit then made sure it was well aligned then i positioned backward As you can notice, there's still a bit of like a cutout. So I'm going to increase this size and leave it this way. Now I want to flip it. So this was how I achieved that. Then I flipped it this way. And that is it. So that's, that's how I achieved the water, you know splash thingy effect you can also like i mentioned upload any from your media or you know just leave it this way so you can see this is it so this is basically how you can you know achieve the blur effect the water splash and also the reflection effect which is the main thing this tutorial is about so let me know if you have questions or reservations around this also do not forget to like share and most importantly subscribe if you haven't see you next week wednesday bye for now